Hello everybody and welcome to yet again another Trolley Tuesday. And yes, I know I said I would have the information for the Patreon account set up by now, but a lot of things have been going on right now and I've been incredibly busy and I haven't simply had the time to do it. However, once it is up, it will be up in this video's description and I will later on release a separate video that will show the Patreon account how it works, and what you can do to support Trolley Tuesday in future. But for now, this video is going to be the last Trolley Tuesday to be uploaded regularly for every Tuesday. So isn't that something? We've gone through almost the entire month of February. Even though it's the shortest month, it feels like it's been going on for a lot longer. Anyway, so yes, you're seeing the title correctly. This is another Lionel 60 car, but this is the original Lionel 60 car. And as you can see, we have it in its uh, box here. I believe this one is an original box. The only thing that's been reproduced in this entire uh, setup is the instructions. Those are a copy scan, if I'm, mis if I'm not mistaken. So anyway, here's the box. It says Lionel Trains, New York, the Lionel Corporation, and Chicago. And of course, right here, we'll flip it to the side. It says Lionel Trains, number 60 trolley car. Of course, on the other side, same thing. And then uh, right here, it just says 60 car, but smaller. So we're going to unbox this. Of course, here's the underside. And of course, right here, we have this. Right here, we've got the uh, 6382. And then we've got this on top, 100% uh, St. Joe Craft. And of course, Made in the United States of America. You know, back when trains used to have quality to them. So, let's open this box up. And there it is. Now, this 60 car has something none of the other ones that I have, uh, have. And we'll get to that in a minute. But as you see, the roof is in impeccable condition. It's bright red. And yes, that is an original roof trolley pole as well as the little part right here is original as well and of course we have the original inserts and then here's the biggest difference the font is not black or it's not blue it's black and of course right here it says 60 uh built 8-55 lionel it says lionelville rapid transit save time have fare ready so let's get this out of the box real quick. So I'm going to be as uh, careful as possible with this. This is a very, very, very rare item. And you'll see why in a second. So I'm gonna put it right here on the track. And let me just make sure that the pole is facing correct. And uh, last thing to see, here is how to operate your 60 car. And here are the uh, instructions. As you see here, service information, how it runs, and then uh, disassembly, and then of course your good old fashioned warranty, and then finally your copyright information right on the bottom. As you see, this is a scan. This is not the original. You can see uh, very faintly where the edges of the uh, original uh, scan were. Um, I will look over these real quick so that way you can pause and read them if you want. I really like this illustration of the car. It's very nice. And let's just package that back up and put that in the box. And we're going to move our box over. And now on to the trolley car. So I will get out my other 60 car for comparison, but we're going to see what makes this one different. Because this is a first year, first run production of the 60 car. And you're going to see why right now. Let me power it up. Oh, oh dear, let's pull that all the way out. That little, the pole got stuck on the edge of the box. But do you see something in there? Or rather, someone in there. there 
Let's get a close-up look. Let's see who is it that's inside the car. Look at that. It's the motor man. Yes, Sir Ree Bob. That is correct. Your eyes do not deceive you. There is a figure that's inside the car, or rather a 2D cutout. So only the first year 60 cars had this little motor man figure, and there's two of them. There's one on each end. So as the car hits a bumper and rotates its pull around, this is what happens. The motor man will disappear at one end, walk through the car, quotation marks there, and he will pop up at the other end. Now I know everyone's gonna ask, well, how is that even possible? How does that work? And I'll show you. So here we have the roof taken off. We still have the trolley pull up to show uh, the mechanism that works. So here's our first end. So there's the little motor man figure and he is attached to the bumper. He's actually clipped on. You can see the little clips there that clip to the bumper. And there he is standing there. And yes, he's made out of metal. And this is an original car. The only reason I know that these are original motor men is because they're both sitting. There are reproduction motor men, but you'll only get one that's sitting, and the other one, I believe, is standing from the very few photos I've ever seen. Anyway, now here's the other motor man, so uh, let me show you. So as the car bumps, you'll see this motor man here. He moves back, the pole swings, and this one up here, you can see him, uh, he will move up just like that. Isn't that amazing? So not only was it animated with the pole, but it's also animated with the figure on it as well. Now, I've got the little uh, light over here on, so I'm going to turn it off real quick. And I will put the roof back on, and we can see the motor man uh, disappear and reappear um, within the car. So now here we are. Now here is my other 60 car. This is the first uh, O-gauge trolley I ever got. As you can see, the roof and the body is actually a lighter shade of yellow than the other one, and that's because this has been in a display case near a window, and it's a bit sun-faded, but you'll notice that mine does not have a motor man inside of it. Nothing. Um, and that's because mine is a first year, but this is the um, second version that was made. The first versions all had black lettering. But the second versions then had blue lettering. Now there's a third version, and it has a completely different bumper. The bumper's actually solid on the top. It's not spring-loaded like this. This uh, The bumper is this piece, but then you have this little outside rim that acts as a uh, shock absorber. The other one has the same thing. Um, and it's made out of a sort of bendable metal that absorbs the uh, hit when it switches directions, so that way it's not a uh, very, uh, it's not a hard hit that'll, de that'll destroy it. So anyway, the third edition version of these had a solid cast top, um, but what made them different was not only did, did they have blue lettering, but the roofs were different. Now, I've seen a lot of people misidentify the roof version that this one has as a cloistery roof or a clear story roof. Now, for anyone who's familiar with streetcar or trolley terminology, a, cle a cloistery roof or clear story, I, I don't know which way to say it because I've heard people use both of them and I've seen them both written that way. So I'm going to use both just to be safe. But um, that type of roof is one that has windows above it. The correct terminology for this type because it has these little holes cut in the top. You can't see it on mine because mine doesn't have them, but I do have a roof that has these um, and they added them in because the lights that were inside of the streetcar, because it's only just, it's one light that's in there. As you saw earlier, it was one light bulb. It's very bright. It started to melt the shell, the, um, the roof shell, 
and it would actually, you can see a lot of these on eBay, they'll have damage, light damage in one spot. Now, some of them have a little metal plate that you can sort of stick inside there. It clips onto the uh, banisters that clip into the roof. Um, for me, I just got a piece of tin, uh, what was it, uh, tin foil tape, I think, or aluminum tape is what it's called. And I just stuck it on the roof on the inside, and that seems to work just as well to defract the right or reflect the light, I should say, back inside the car and out through the windows, as opposed to bleeding out through the top of the roof, which you see this one will do. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to take this car off, put it off to the side, and we'll see this one with its motor man. So let me flip it back around really quick, like so, and we'll watch it uh, go. Now we can actually see the little motor man right there. There he is. Very, very pronounced. Now, again, this is another first, uh, not only for the model railroading community, but also a first on YouTube. This is the first time one of these cars with the motorman figure has ever been seen in operation and recorded and posted online. In my entire research of the 60 cars uh, lineage, so to speak, Nobody, not even Classic Lionel Trains or Master Luke, I think is what his original username was, has one of these, to my knowledge, when he actually covered the bump and go uh, cars, and that included the Workman Gang cars, the overhead wire maintenance car, and this. Um, so this is the first time that this has ever been shown. And also, just to give you a comparison, because this car is pretty much mint, and you can see right on the top, you can see the light bleeding through quite uh, quite aptly right there. You can see it. Um, let me turn this off, and let me get my other 60 car, put it right here. Let me take this one off, and I'll put it over here. You can see the difference in its running uh, and the sound of the motor. And you'll see, no motor, man. It's driving by itself. No one's riding it. Oh no, what will we do? And you'll see with mine, the light does not bleed as much through the roof. So, just for a little bit of fun, let's have both of these guys running around. Let me switch that around. All right, let's see how well they go. Uh-oh, he's stuck. Let's give him a hand. Nope, looks like that's not gonna do anything.
But there you have it. The original Lionel 60 car with Motorman figures. I hope you all have enjoyed Trolley Tuesdays so far, and I look forward to seeing at least most of you on Patreon. And again, as I said before, I will release a separate video detailing the Patreon and how you can uh, further my ambitions as well as those of the O-Gage forums and community in learning more about trolleys and models of streetcars as well. Well, until next time, we'll see you down the line.